Hey everyone, welcome to my WordCamp 2018 talk. Today we're going to talk about stop selling and start solving problems. So this is a big topic that I think too many of us are stuck in a rut of going ahead and doing the same old, same old. And what we do is we meet with a lot of people and all we want to do is talk about what we do as WordPress professionals and as marketing individuals. And we don't really talk, have time, or we don't really give the time to talk and ask the right questions to our audience or to uh, the people we're meeting with, et cetera, et cetera. So for this talk, this talk is geared up for WordCamp San Diego, like I said, but, and it's, it's for a WordPress-based crowd. So if you're listening to this you know, on our podcast or whatnot, you can substitute the word WordPress or website and substitute marketing or, or social media, anything like that, or content marketing. And then we can go ahead and you can apply the same principle. So first off, thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this, to watch this. And if you do see this in person, I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you to all the WordCamp San Diego organizers and volunteers. Without you guys, great conferences like WordCamp aren't possible. Um, in case you don't know it, all the speakers are volunteers. Uh, we donate our time. Uh, sometimes it costs money, and sometimes people travel from great distances to speak at marquee camps. And definitely the countless hours that the organizers and volunteers put in to put this on because of the love of WordPress. <clears throat> if you have a question and you're listening to this as a podcast, please feel free to email me at taylor at trinitywebmedia.com. And hopefully, you know, there's going to be tons of questions that I field in the audience so that we can go ahead and I can append this presentation so that we can, you know, answer some of those questions. Cause you know, Word, WordPress, WordCamp audiences are some of the greatest conference attendees to speak to because they really are interested and they're really passionate and they really challenge me as a speaker to A, know my stuff and B, give them the answers that they paid good money to, to, to learn and to understand. So who am I? My name is Greg Taylor, co-founder of Trinity Web Media. Uh, Trinity Web Media acquired my company, Marketing Press, that was about 10 year, about eight years old. And I've been playing with WordPress and developing WordPress sites since 2007. Um, I'm a marketer by degree. Don't hold that against me. And I fell into the development world kind of backwards. I'm passionate about WordPress. I'm passionate about content marketing. And one of the first companies that I launched was a content marketing company that we were launching these great strategies on websites that weren't so great. So I decided to really dive into WordPress and understand, you know, what makes a site great, what the content components. And through all that experience that I've gathered, you know, through uh, Market Press and now Trinity Web Media, I've really been able to see a lot of clients, to talk to a lot of clients, do a lot of mentoring, and mentor a lot of startups, and et cetera. And what we can do is, you know, I take all that experience and I'm going to try to disseminate it to you guys and give it to you. And let's see how this, uh, let's see how this goes. This is also the first time I'm speaking on this topic. You know, typically word camps, you know, you always present a different topic. And I've been fortunate enough to be asked to speak a whole lot on content. But uh, this is one that, you know, as we changed our business model and we really shifted the landscape of how we think about our own organization that I wanted to share with everybody. So again, thank you for being here. So who's this talk for? This talk is for anybody who's in front of the public who's talking about WordPress, and especially if you're doing client work or volunteer work as it pertains to WordPress. And again, substitute WordPress or digital marketing, substitute it for social media or the like. And this is, Hopefully, going to change your paradigm on how you speak to people. A couple of mind shifts that, when you go ahead and you talk to people, you're going to go. Ahead, you're going to think a little differently, and hopefully, it's going to be lucrative for you. So, I'm going to give away as much knowledge that I have here. So, who are you? You know, I always ask this question to all my audiences. I think that the biggest thing that I know is, you know, out in the audience, there's going to be designers, there's going to be developers, there's going to be business development people, there's going to be marketers. There are probably going to be some writers. I always get the uh, the one or two writers that feel snubbed that I don't ask if there's any writers in the crowd. So if there are writers out there, you are definitely welcome. But what we all are together is we are all creatives. 
we are all creative people. Whether you're writing code or whether you're trying to figure out how to talk to that client or design that next landing page, we are all creative individuals. So if you don't believe that we are creatives, that's a big disconnect. So I want us to all think as creative. You know, my business partner, Kevin Everly, is extremely He's a linear thinker <laughs> where I'm abstract. You know, imagine that, right? So I'm the abstract version of the company. He's a linear thinker. But I can see when he, ha when he does his job and he fulfills his role for the company, he still thinks in a creative mindset. So we're all creatives today. And I'm using the word creative as creative thinking, creative problem solving, not so much as creative in the traditional sense where we talk about musicians, writers, designers, artists, etc. So... What brings us all together today? The thing that brings us together is that we are creative individuals and that we yearn to be creative and we want to be different and that we all have a love of WordPress or marketing and social media and we just, we're passionate about these topics and what we do is we want to meld the two disciplines and the two practices together or, and see how we can go ahead and help people. Why is this concept important? This concept is important because if you don't think differently, and I know that's, you know, of course, that's an Apple slogan and a, not that I'm a fanboy from, of Apple or anything like that, but they really nailed it on the head when they say think differently. You know, I, I don't believe that different is necessarily always good. I just believe that diff thinking differently is essential. So today, there is more noise than ever. People are distracted. People are biding for everybody's time. You know, Gary Vaynerchuk says it the best that he's, he's a day trader of attention. He trades knowledge for attention. And that's what made him very successful. There is more noise than ever. We want to guard for this person. And this is a slide right now of a snake oil salesman, kind of a carny. We want to make sure that our profession is headed by a bunch of professionals and experts and people who can really, really dive into other people's businesses and talk intelligently about what's going on. We're not selling magic potion. We're not selling, you know, the next, you know, uh, Brooklyn Bridge. What we're doing is we're working on people's lives. And a lot of times people's lives, careers, financial stability depends on what we do. People are skeptical of what they do not understand. People, if they do not understand what you're saying, where you're going with things, and how you're running things, and how you're talking to them, they will be skeptical. Uh, think of a used car salesman. You know, we are not used car salesmen. We are highly skilled professionals. Why are we going to be gr grouped with a bunch of snake oil salesmen? Well, one is because there's no real barrier to entry any longer. <clears throat> WordPress is open source. You know, all it takes pretty much to open up a a company to start your own, you know, LLC is 200 bucks, maybe at the most, you know, and a laptop and a will to do things a little bit differently. I started my company with $400 to my name, a laptop and a will to do things differently after being fired from a bunch of agencies because I was thinking differently, probably a little bit too different, but that was how things go. So let's quickly, let's play the match game here. And I want you to think of these things as and going through. What are the goals of websites? You know, if you don't know the goal of the site that you're building, then you are already lost and there's a huge disconnect and it should be back to the drawing board. If there's no strategy and if the site is not goal oriented, the site will not be successful. So some of the common goals of websites are, and I don't believe that there's only three, are developing a site, for content, for search and positioning, and branding. Also to position your, your product, service, or brand as subject matter experts. To build a community around your product, service, and brands. And a lot of um, townships and neighborhood organizations and nonprofits are great at doing that. Or conversion. You know, conversion is defined as, you know, the way that I'm using it is getting a user to do things the way that you want them to do and having them act with an intended behavior. So... If you go on the other side of things, what are some common business problems? What are the business problems that 
you know, Joe in Wachung, New Jersey, or Jim in Santee, California here, what do they face? You know, typical ones that we hear are, they feel like their brand is invisible. Lack of revenue is definitely a business problem. And a lot of times, you know, people want to say to me, well, my goal is to generate revenue. And then when we have to go back and say, actually, generating revenue is a byproduct of meeting your goal. It is a problem, though, and can be listed here. Brand perception, huge problem. Lack of loyalty when it comes to customers. Inferior XYZ, inferior product, inferior business model, inferior uh, uh, policies, anything like that, and an experience. So out of these six, and there are six, yes, out of these six, I believe that we can solve four of them. Inferior product, a good website, good marketing is not going to, solve the product that's an operations thing experienced staff inexperienced staff rather is an operations problem and that's sometimes hard to hard to go be between you know when does marketing stay the hell out of operations and when does operations stay the hell out of marketing and, and development so it's it's one of those fine lines there it's like it's not an us versus them it's a we need to work together and each need to stay in their own lane but respectfully work with one another uh, i do believe that collaboration is greater than competition. So anytime you can collaborate with somebody on the other side, they're always appreciative. They feel like they have stake in the game and skin in the game. And it's also one of those things where you can go ahead and really draw on their experience to help make what you're doing better. So here's a quick, just a quick reality check now. This is not a problem. It's not a problem that people do not have what you are selling. So let me say that again. The problem is never that people do not have what you're selling. So Jane or Marianne doesn't have a website. That's not a problem. That's not the problem that you need to solve. Selling them a website isn't going to solve their problem. Their brand being invisible online is the business problem that we're trying to address. The WordPress site or the social media presence or the digital marketing or the SEO are the tools to solve that problem. So I want you to think about websites and digital marketing and SEO and, and the like as the tools to solve the problems. There, there's, a, there's a direct line there between the tools and the problem solving. Also not problems are that you are broke, that you have no business, that your company has a lack of revenue. That is not your client's problem. That is not the problem that you're solving by selling a website. That If you want to do that and you want to put revenue in front of the the way that you do things and problem solving aspects of your job, you will be left in the dust, I guarantee you. So let's, let's crack the code here a little bit. I'm gonna show you a couple of brands and I wanna talk about them just real quickly. They're not exactly who or what you think they are. So the first brand would be Red Bull. What is Red Bull? And everybody says, well, Red Bull is a company, you know, based in Santa Monica that sells an energy drink. Not true. Red Bull is a media company. Look at what Red Bull publishes. Look what they do. They're a media company that sells an energy drink. So you got to think of it that way. The next one, GoPro. What's GoPro? GoPro is not a camera, a funky little camera you put on your skateboard or your surfboard or whatever. GoPro is a lifestyle brand. GoPro is a content creation company. And you know, and sometimes actually their content, you, you can create so much content and it's hard to actually work with. And admittedly, the founders have said that, but, but you know, they, they said that uh, once or twice they're a content enabling company, but they're a content company at heart. The next brand, Lululemon. What is Lululemon? They're not just funky, uh, chic, fashionable workout clothes. They're a lifestyle brand. Lululemon is a lifestyle brand. And what it does is when you see somebody that wears Lululemon with the, the, their, their logo on it, you understand what type of life that they live, what type of you know, active life they live. Those are the problems that these brands solve. Now, what about your organization? You know, I want you to start thinking just a little bit differently here about your own company. So what are you not? You're not a WordPress developer. You're not a content creator. You're not a designer. You're not an app developer or whatever, what are you? We are all creative problem solvers. So Trinity Web Media, you know, went through a whole, went through a whole 
you know, evolution where you know we were the leader in WordPress development in the Northeast, and we're the leader of social media management, we're the leader in content creation. Well, no, we are the leader in problem solving. We just happen to use marketing and web development to solve those problems. We always, you know, we have a podcast called uh, The New Marketing Show. And what the new marketing show is, we talk about how effective marketing solves business problems. And that's a great like lead in and kind of, you know, secondary uh, information. And we have a vast library of podcasts now. And in fact, this, this uh, talk is going to be published as one of our bonus, bonus episodes. So we are creative problem solvers. Everybody in this room, if you've taken the time to be here, and again, I thank you, you we are all problem solvers. So now let's play that match game again. So remember the goals of the website, creating content for branding and for search and for positioning, building community around your product, service, and brand, getting higher conversion rates for your, you know, from your audience, the common business problems, the brand is visible, lack of revenue, your brand perception, lack of loyalty to your brand, the inferiority and the inexperience. So now let's talk about, here's the WordCast San Diego match game. Your brand is invisible. How do you go ahead and make that more visible? Well, you go ahead and maybe it's, you know, through effective design, of course, through creating a website. That's a fantastic platform to publish your content. How are you going to generate revenue? Well, you're going to have, you know, yield a higher conversion rate so that you can grow your email list. Or if you have an e-store or an online presence or an online market, you know, you can actually sell to them from there. The brand perception. Maybe you need to build a community around your brand. You have lack of loyalty. Content and branding can help that. Definitely community helps that. Inferior products and inexperience within the company. Those are two that we can't really solve directly through WordPress or through digital marketing. But those are things that we can help assist the operations team with. So I want you to think about things this way. Solve your client's problems or your prospective client's problem, and you win. Their successes and their generation of revenue will come back to you, and you will be able to go ahead and have you know higher client retention. You're gonna go ahead, you're gonna have higher, you know, hopefully, you know, better revenue years. You're gonna have, you know, happier clients, more referrals. And the buy cycle is, you know, people they People want to do business, you know, they always say with, with people that they know, like, and trust. But I always say, I think that's where we're only 75% there. And I know my math isn't skewed. I know there's only three. How can I get 75? There's a fourth component. You can solve their problem. So people need to do business with people they know, like, and trust that can solve their problem. And I'll go even back the other way that people want to do business with people who can solve their problem that they know, like, and trust. So, you know, some of the buy, buying cycle uh, John Jans talks about is try, buy, repeat, repeat, refer. Try, buy, repeat, refer. So think of it that way. And if you solve your problems, you're going to win. So I'm going to make a couple more points. And then what I'm going to do is I'd open it up the questions. And again, if you're listening to this online, I'd love for you to email me questions at taylor at trinitywebmedia.com or on Twitter at GR Taylor two. That's the number two. So I always end my talks with these three things. Perfection is the enemy of progress. If you look to make somebody's business and their marketing and their website absolutely perfect, you're going to miss the boat because something is going to come along. You're going to change. You're going to be chasing perfection. Perfection is non-existent. Perfection is fleeting. And perfection is the enemy of progress. The more time you spend on trying to be perfect, the less time there is on you progressing, pivoting, learning, and using the review, refine, repeat methodology where you can go ahead and just work on one or two items, refine what you already did because you're you're checking analytics, hopefully, and repeat and go ahead and do it again. Second thing is go do. Go and try this. Go do. Go do something. Go do something in a positive direction. Go try and do something differently. I'm doing something differently by actually, you know, giving this talk instead of something that I had canned, you know, about content that I've, that I, I don't know, I gave in WordCamp Las Vegas 2010 or whatnot. So go do. 
And the last thing that I always talk about is help somebody else. If you see your fellow word presser, I don't know if that's a term, word presser, word pressian, I don't, I don't know what, what we call each other. We're, go help them if they're struggling. You see somebody who's struggling, you see somebody who's asking questions. You know, we're, the WordPress community gives us amazing opportunities to go ahead and help one another through meetup groups, through word camps, through social media, Twitter, you know, there's Facebook groups. Uh, there's tons of different ways. Help somebody else share your knowledge. And I think that you'll be better for it. So thank you so much. I really appreciate everybody being here. I especially appreciate if you listen to this online. Uh, again, any questions, please let me know. Uh, again, I'm Greg Taylor from Trinity Web Media, and it's been an honor to speak with you guys. Thanks.